If you're going to be a leader in today's environment, you have to be intentional around diversity. And here's why. Innovation is the dominant competitive parameter across all industries. I can't think of one where innovation is not one of the top three with respect to the strategy and winning competitively in the marketplace. And here's the imperative around diversity. If you agree that innovation is the dominant competitor, then you must agree that you need a lot of ideas in the room in order to get to that one innovative idea that will allow you to obtain and retain a leadership position in your industry. Because after all, innovation is born from ideas. Well, if you need a lot of ideas in the room, you need a lot of perspectives in the room because ideas are born from perspectives. If you need a lot of perspectives in the room, you need a lot of experiences in the room because perspectives are born from experiences. And if you need a lot of experiences in the room, you better start with a lot of different people in the room because experiences are born from people. So you must start with a lot of different people in the room in order to get to that one innovative idea that will allow you to obtain and retain a leadership position in your industry. That is the commercial imperative around diversity. Now let's talk a little bit about inclusivity. How do you show up as a powerful, influential, inclusive leader in today's environment? Well, here's the secret. Solicit other people's voices. Solicit other people's voices. The next four times that you bring your teams together, I want you to try this. Here's the idea we're going to talk about today. I'll get us started with this conversation. But Abby, I'd like you to add on to this conversation. Bill, I'd like you to add on to what Abby has said. Now, Chandra, I want you to play devil's advocate. I want you to completely blow up this argument, expose the gaps, give us the other side of this argument, the counter argument. And Damon, I'd like you to add on to what Chandra has said. Now, what have you done as a powerful, inclusive leader? You've done two very important things. The first thing that you have done is that you say, I see you because you invite each of them into the conversation by name, which means you must engage enough with your people that you can authentically invite them into the conversation, into the solution making process to stand shoulder to shoulder with you to figure it out. Yes, you've done that by name. And here's the deal. Who doesn't value being seen by the boss? The second most important thing that you have done is that you said, I hear you. Not only did you invite them into the conversation by name, but you invited them specifically to support or refute the argument that was on the floor. And guess what? Everybody values being heard. Everybody values being heard. When you say to anyone, let me repeat what I think you says. Did I understand you to mean that person is thinking, wow, she was listening. Wow, he heard me. And you are generating immediate currency. Currency that you can now reinvest back into that relationship, further strengthening that relationship currency. But here's the intended consequence of what you have done. You have now put everybody's fingerprints on the blueprint. Everybody on your team is now equally invested in the success or failure of that endeavor. And as a leader, you know it doesn't get any better than that. We leave so much talent on the table in all of our work environments because we fail to access all of the intellect, all of the experiences, and all of the networks that each of our people have. But here's the deal. If people don't feel like you value their tribe, that you don't value their perspective, that you don't value their experience, then they won't contribute it. They won't give you the benefit of their best thinking. They won't allow you to access their previous experience or leverage that experience. And they will not invite you into their networks. 
and you lose as a leader and your organization loses because you're leaving all of that talent, all of that creativity, all of that potential innovation on the table. Each of us, because we are different, bring something valuable to any collaborative environment, any collaborative table, any process where you're trying to get to the best outcome. That's why diversity, inclusivity, and belonging matters. When your people can say, my leader, my manager, my organization, then you know you have reached the holy grail and you're getting the best outcome possible. Go get them.